Bueno, aquí estamos en la graduación de la escuela Grand Island High School, aquí en Grand Island, Nebraska, con nuestros graduados, dándole gracias a Dios por este, este nuevo año y etapa en la vida de cada, de cada joven. Aquí está entre ellos mi hijo. Le doy muchas gracias a Dios porque ha logrado llegar a, a graduarse de la high school que viene siendo la uh, preparatoria en México. Y bueno, le damos gracias a Dios por este triunfo, por esta victoria. Gracias, gracias a Dios. Luis David, Dios te bendiga. Bueno, aquí estamos en las graduaciones de la ciudad de Gran Island, Nebraska, aquí en el estadio de la escuela de Gran Island High School. Aquí están nuestros graduados. Por ahí entre ellos está mi hijo. Felicidades a los graduados, Escuela Gran Island, es una emoción mirar todos estos jóvenes comenzando su nueva etapa de su vida, terminando la preparatoria, high school, aquí en los Estados Unidos y bueno, le damos gracias a Dios por esta nueva etapa que comienza. Ahí está mi hijo, ahí, mi orgullo, hasta las manos me tiemblan, ahí va, el morenito que va ahí, ese es mío, es mío. muy grande, la verdad, estoy súper, súper emocionada por esta bendición que Dios me da. Mis tres hijos se han graduado, gracias a Dios, y ahora me falta mi hija, que es la última, mi princesa, le faltan dos años para graduarse, le doy muchas gracias a Dios por este triunfo que el Señor me ha permitido ver. Jessica, porque Jessica no estaba contestando. 
Where is she? Oh, I use the same. Muchas, muchas bendiciones a todos los graduados. Nos encontramos aquí en la ciudad de Granada, Nebraska, en Granada High School. Súper emocionados los padres por ver a nuestros hijos graduándose en este día tan hermoso, tan especial que Dios ha permitido. Uh, poder mirar el triunfo de nuestros hijos es una emoción tan grande una emoción tan tan especial Mami. ¡Ay, mi nuera hermosa y mi hijo mi otro hijo bello I'm sorry Thanks for waving at me, Ay, mi amor Did they open the gate? No, I just, I just, I opened a different gate and told this to come in. <laughs> they were like closing the gate and closing the gate and they like, come in. Like, oh, <laughs> Hola, Bel. Bueno, aquí me encuentro emocionada. Dándole gracias a Dios por este triunfo tan hermoso. Me costó subir las escaleras, pero aquí estoy. Creo que la emoción me ganó, me dio las fuerzas el Señor para subir. Y aquí estamos en la graduación de mi hijo Frankie. De mi hijo Frankie, que terminó la high school. La verdad que es una emoción tan grande. Le doy gracias a Dios porque me ha permitido llegar hasta este día. Aquí está mi familia conmigo. Chanel, esta es mi princesa, la que me falta en dos años, ¿verdad? Te gradúas en dos años. Ella es mi bebé. Hasta mis hijos. La, ahí está mi nuera. Ahí están mis hijos, mi familia, que los amo mucho. Y bueno. Aquí estamos esperando. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2021 graduation ceremony for Grand Island Senior High. Gracias, Abel. At this time, please rise for the national anthem. Bueno, ahorita vamos a saludar la bandera. El himno nacional a la bandera de los Estados Unidos. Si puedes compartir la transmisión, no sé si todavía estás ahí, por favor. Taka, taka, thank you. 
new Memorial Stadium. Let's hear it. Today we are honoring the class of 2021. I would like to thank and welcome Dr. Tawana Grover, Superintendent of Schools, faculty, Islander families, friends, patrons, and the Grand Island Public Schools Board of Education. President, Mrs. Bonnie Hinkle, with honored board members, special recognition goes out to our Grand Island Senior High Band under the direction of Band Director, Mr. John Jacobs, and our Choral Director, Mr. Jesse Labrie, as well as our talented student performers that produce the music you hear today. A special I know, I'm thank sorry. you to Mr. Chris Ladwig and Ms. Maricela Hernandez. We appreciate your ability and willingness to read all of our graduates' names today. Lastly, thank you to Mr. Chris Holton and the students within our multimedia pathway, Mr. Josh Planos and Ms. Kelly Mayhew for our video production and streaming service both in English and Spanish for today's events. We would like to acknowledge our amazing Grand Island Public Schools and Grand Island Senior High staff for their dedication to student learning for all students every day. Lastly, we want to recognize the incredible parents and guardians of our graduates. Thank you for entrusting your sons and daughters to learn with us every day. We also extend a sincere thanks and acknowledgement to our business and industry partners of the Grand Island community. Thank you for your continued, continued support of public education. Graduates, while difficult times like what we have all had experienced over the last year can make us feel depleted and often wonder, why is this happening to us? There is a silver lining to these tough times. It's the tough times in our life that we are able to learn and grow. It's when we are tested and when we are stretched that we are able to rise, push through, and come out the other side stronger, braver, and better as we proudly opened our school last year, we took on that attitude to take one day at a time, learn from that day, and repeat. The class of 2021 has done just that. You have been outstanding with your leadership, your positive attitudes, your achievements, and the kindness that you have shown. You have recognized that life is a journey with struggles, but you focused yourselves on solutions and controlling what you could control. You have honored the fact that there is no Photoshop or delete button in life. Life happens and you responded. The members of the class of 2021 are successful and happy young adults because you have a plan for your life. You not only have a plan, but you have a plan that is aligned tightly with the ability to roll with the punches, overcome any obstacles that you may face in your future life. Islander graduates, no difficult time can stop you. When you tap into your GI grit and your GI courage, that will keep you moving moving forward to face your greatest fears and your biggest challenges. Please remember how successful you have been overcoming difficult times and utilize the strong lessons learned as you boldly pursue your college, career, and life ambitions. Love yourself, love your life, and do not fear it. Continue to wear your purple 
in Beagle. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, honored student speaker, Ms. Maya Brown, to the podium. Maya. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Grand Island Senior High graduation ceremony. President of the Board of Education, Ms. Bonnie Hinkle, Superintendent, Dr. Tawana Gripper, Principal, Mr. Jeff Gilberson, faculty, family, friends, and the Grand Island Senior High class of 2021. Thank you for all you have done to make today phenomenal. One long year ago, we came face to face with the global pandemic. Since that time, our academic experience has undergone changes. Our social lives have taken a spin and almost every other, every other aspect of our lives has been altered by this pandemic. However, if you look to your right and to your left this morning, you'll notice that we're all here together. Let us not take this moment for granted. Every person in attendance today whether in person or watching online, has helped to write the story of the resilient Grand Island Senior High class of 2021. And now is our time to celebrate what we've worked so hard to accomplish. We're here today because we made the decision to show up, not just today, but every day from the first day of freshman year until this past Tuesday. Research has found that the average adult makes about 35 bueno, aquí nos encontramos en las grabaciones del 2021. Aquí en la escuela de Granada, Nebraska, aquí en la ciudad de Granada, Nebraska. Agradeciendo a Dios por cada uno de los graduados. Bueno, damos gracias a Dios en emoción tan grande mirar a nuestros hijos lograr esta meta de la preparatoria que viene siendo la high school aquí en los Estados Unidos. I turned around and allowed my eyes to wander inquiringly about the tables filled with students. Do I head to the left, to the right, straight ahead? Do I sit with people who look like me or people who don't? Do I sit alone or make small, small, stop, small talk with complete strangers? Do I pick a crowded table or one with only a few students? I had a decision to make. Little did I know that one decision out of the 35 Landed me next uh, to some of my closest friends who are also graduating today. Every student who walks across the stage today has accomplished something worth celebrating. The decisions you've made since the first day of kindergarten have been made you the captain of your sports teams, the lead role in your musical, the president of your club, the top of your class, the volunteer in your community, and the Grand Island Senior High graduate with a seat on the stands of Memorial Stadium today. Many of us are being faced with the biggest decisions of our lives right now. We're not choosing between white milk and chocolate milk like we were in third grade. The number of arcade tokens we can convince our parents to buy us is no longer our source of fulfillment, fulfillment like it was in, sis, in fifth grade. How we spent the money we earned from that lemonade stand we set up on the corner corner of our street in seventh grade isn't the difficult financial de decision we thought it was. Our decisions are bigger now. We're choosing where we're going to build our futures. We're choosing which college to attend, which job to apply for, and which service to go into. into. These are big, life-changing decisions, but we've been practicing our whole lives and we're ready to make them. Besides, at the end of the day, that big, life-changing decision was one in 35,000 decisions you made, and there will be 35,000 new decisions for you to make tomorrow. As you're being faced with the heavy question of what your future will hold, 
Loosen your grip on the person that others think you should be and tighten your grip on who you are. Make passionate decisions. Make leadership decisions. Make the decision that shows who you are because the world wants to know who that person, who that person is. Um, whether you're attending local community college next year, traveling 500 mile, miles for college, or you have other plans, do not recoil out of fear of making the wrong decision because there's no such thing. My question for you is what lunch table will you sit at? What is your one in 35,000? What are you going to do to make sure that instead of making the right decision for you, you're making your decision right? The quality of your decisions is not determined by the decision themselves, but by what you do next to make them count. To the class of 2021, congratulations. What comes next is for you to decide. Thank you. Y bueno, aquí nos encontramos en la escuela High School de la ciudad de Granada, Nebraska. Es el día de la graduación. La verdad que es un día emocionante. Podemos ver a nuestros hijos alcanzando sus metas, sus primeras metas, ¿verdad? De aquí ya ellos ya tomarán sus decisiones de lo que quieran estudiar, lo que quieran llevar a cabo. Pero es una emoción como padres y madres estar aquí presentes mirando el triunfo de nuestros hijos. Es, yo en lo personal me siento súper extremadamente agradecida con Dios por estos, um, este día tan especial, mirar a mi hijo graduándose. Y bueno, sabemos que las decisiones de sus estudios y educación, ¿verdad?, a partir de este día pues ya es decisiones de ellos, pero esperamos lo mejor para cada uno de los graduados. Damos gracias a Dios por cada uno de ellos. Bueno, aquellas personas que están cantando, están estornando un canto para los graduados, están adentro del auditorio. Debido a lo que está pasando, ¿verdad? Que estamos pasando, hay ciertas restricciones, eh, algunas precauciones y bueno, no todos estamos afuera. Bueno, algunos de los padres, ¿verdad? Estamos acá. 
pero ellos están allá adentro en la escuela, en el auditorio, están entonando ese bello canto de, uh, dedicado a nuestros graduados el día de hoy. Dr. Grover and the Grand Island Public School Board of Education, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Grand Island Senior High School, it gives me great pleasure and pride that I present to you the graduating class of 2021. First of all, thank you so much, Maya Brown, for reminding us of the one in 35,000, as well as to our chamber singers, always encouraging us to remember all we have to do is just believe. Let's just give these students another round of applause. Congratulations to the class of 2021. What an honor it is to join the Board of Education and the Grand Island Public School staff, community, parents, and families on this heartfelt occasion to celebrate your milestone. Class of 2021, this is your day. I do want to say while things may feel a little awkward or different in some ways, you do get a special treat. This will most likely be the shortest commencement remarks I've ever delivered. <laughs> Today we acknowledge the steadfast resilience of the 564 scholars. There have been many reasons for this class to grow weary, but instead, I think if I was making a sign to mark the impression you leave with us, that it will read that the class of 2021 mastered the moment at the intersection of innovation and inspiration. Some would classify the time we're living in as a defining moment. A defining moment is that pivotal point in life where we have to make a pivotal decision or we encounter an experience that fundamentally changes our mindset and possibly even transform our perceptions and our behaviors. I would add at a defining moment that you sometimes figure out what matters most in life. The road of life, yes, it will be bumpy, and oftentimes it tests our outlook on life. It's that defining moment that we get to choose whether we see it as an obstacle or an opportunity. A few years ago, my son was in a car accident and it was pretty traumatic. Certainly, it helped me to refocus on what matters and how to face future adversities. Now, every Monday, he sends me a text and it says, Mom, make it a good week. The choice is yours. I chuckle because these are the words I will consistently say to him. Can you recall a defining moment in your life? Maybe that defining moment was when you conducted a blood drive. Maybe it was when you formed the Unity Council. Maybe it was leading voter registration. Maybe it was raising funds to collect food for others. Maybe you saw a picture of a Black History moment that helped you to learn something new or find a new sense of pride in who you are or understand freedom in a new way. Maybe it was when you received a scholarship and your goal of going to college became attainable or you heard that you had landed that dream job. Maybe it was when you performed a solo. Maybe it was when you and your team reached state competition. Maybe it was when your father put his arms on your shoulder and told you how proud he is of you when secretly all these years you doubted his love. Maybe it was when you saw a picture of you and your mom and you knew it was okay to be just like her because she is that special woman 
that has shaped you into the woman you are becoming and have always been by your side. Maybe it was when you received a letter of acceptance of a lifetime. Or maybe it was when you received some news that you just didn't want to hear. But in that moment, you had a loved one that intervened and said it was going to be okay. How about this? Close your eyes and visualize that moment. And this is what matters. What's going to matter are your family members. What's going to matter is the difference you can make. What's going to matter is how your attitudes affect change. What's going to matter is the hope you inspire in others. What's going to matter are your dreams. Whatever moments of defining you face, moments of master when we discover what matters most and we decide on the motivation, our plan for maneuvering, and recognize the impact of our own of our momentum. Class of 2021, we attest that your motivation has been wrapped in positive attitude and we know you will go higher than you ever imagined. The way you maneuver through all of these adverse circumstances has truly been a source of hope that has been beneficial to all. Your momentum has matched that of Island of Pride. It has matched that of Island of Nation. So class of 2021, please remember this. You are our defining moment and we will be forever inspired by you. Congratulations.